I'm Kimberly Washburn, Curator of Education at the Florence County Museum. Welcome to January's Family Day at Home. This month, we're talking all about the intersection between art and science. And in this project, we're going to be making a simple card that will literally brighten someone's day. So we are going to work together to create a simple circuit on our card that will create a light up card. So here we go. You're gonna to need to gather a few things from your family day at home kit. You're going to need your card template. It looks like a piece of white card stock with a little drawing on the back and a hole through the top. So you're gonna need that card. You're going to need your baggie with all of your circuit materials inside. Um, you may want a crayon or your crayons or your pencil to draw your decorative element on your card, like my cupcake, for example. And you also might need a pair of scissors. You're also going to need your glue stick, which is in your family day at home kit. So now let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do with this activity is we're going to take our card template and we're going to fold it in half so that all the drawing is on the inside of the card. So I'm going to take my circuit drawing. I want to match up my short edges and I'm going to give that a crease. Okay, so all these, this circuit drawing is going to be useful. We're going to use that when we build our simple circuit that creates the light. But the front of your card is this clean white side with the hole in it. So what you're going to do first is you are going to draw what you would like to have on the front of your card. Now keep in mind as you're drawing that where the hole is, is going to be the light. So think about what you want to light up. You could have a little landscape scene with a sun right here in the center that lights up. You could have um, I've done a cupcake with a little candle that lights up. Or in the example I'm going to be using today, I've drawn a little robot and his antenna is going to light up. So I have created just a simple drawing. Now mine is just a pencil drawing, or in this case I've used crayon. So you can use any materials that you have, but in your kit you have crayons available to you, but any materials you have will work. And go ahead and complete the front drawing of your card. It's gonna be really difficult to do any drawing once we've attached the materials that make it light up. So complete that first and remember that that hole in the top is where your light is going to be. So anything that you could think of that might you might like to shine or light up on your card. That's what you want to put on the front. Be creative. You don't have to do what I've done. It doesn't have to be a robot or a cupcake. It can be anything that you think of. The next step is going to be to create our simple circuit. So let's take a look at what we have in our bag. In this small bag, we have two pieces of long, it's nine inch copper tape. And we have one short piece of copper tape. We're going to need all of that. We have a little coin cell battery and we have an LED light. Now your light could be one of a few colors. You might want to check and see what color your light is before you decide on what you want to draw on the front because you might want to match what you draw to the color of your light. My light happens to be red. Now we are going to create a simple circuit um, with these materials. There's one more thing that you have that you might not have noticed. You have two pieces of clear scotch tape on your baggie. Don't lose those because you're going to need that clear tape. So let's get started on our circuit. So a simple circuit requires three parts. In order to create a simple electrical circuit, you're going to need some conductive path. That means that you need something for the electricity or the power to travel along. And in our case, it's going to travel on this copper wire because copper is a conductive metal. You need a power source. Our power source is this small three volt battery. 
Now, these batteries can be dangerous for little ones if they put them in their mouth. So please make sure that a grown up is doing this project with you. You don't want to be um, putting any kind of batteries in your mouth. And you need a load, something that's gonna carry or it will do something when that power source comes to it. And in our case, we're using a small LED light. When the power from the battery travels along our conductive copper path, it will light up our LED light. So those are the basic things we need for a simple circuit. Now, you'll notice a few things on your circuit drawing. You'll notice that there are some straight lines. You'll see the hole in the top, that's where our light is gonna go. The large circle at the bottom is where our battery is gonna go. You'll see on the right hand side, there's a line. This is gonna be the switch that turns our card on and off. And I'll explain that a little bit more as well. And you're also gonna see a plus and a minus on both the battery and the light. It's important to pay attention to those and I'll explain that as we go along. So the first thing that we're gonna do is get one piece of our copper tape. And we're going to create a path that travels from our plus sign all the way down and over to where our battery is going to go. So this copper tape has a paper backing. It's sticky and it has a paper backing. So you just have to carefully peel that paper backing off. Now this copper tape feels a little bit like really thick aluminum foil. So just be careful. It will tear kind of like aluminum foil. Now what I'm gonna do is peel off just a little bit of the tape. You don't want to peel the whole paper backing off of the copper tape because it will just curl up and stick to itself and then you'll be in trouble because <laughs> you won't have what you need to finish the circuit. So I'm just going to stick down my copper tape starting at the plus sign by where my light is. It doesn't need to cover the hole and I want to just take it right along that line that's drawn. If you get a little crease in it, that's okay. Now, we need to turn this corner. It's important that you do not cut the tape at the corner. To create an electrical current or a path, a conductive path, we need one solid path. If you cut it, it may not travel along the copper path. So let me show you how to turn the corner. I'm gonna turn it so you can see it easily. So we need to go down in this direction, but, in order to make a nice turn, we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna go up, we're gonna turn this, so it was going this way. I'm gonna turn it up, going away from the direction I want it to go. So I really want it to go down, but I've turned it up. And then I'm gonna kinda of crease it right there at a 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to turn it and just fold that down. And that created a nice, clean corner turn, okay? Now I'm just gonna keep kind of peeling the tape a little bit at a time and pressing it down. Then again, when I get to the corner, I'm gonna do the same thing. I wanna go this direction toward the battery, but I'm gonna start out by turning it the opposite direction, giving it a little crease. It is sticky, so you can have to pull your hand off that. And then, Folding it over. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go right up to the circle where my battery is gonna go, but I'm not gonna stick it on top of the circle. I'm actually just gonna cut my paper off right here and leave this sort of hanging out there. We're gonna do something with that in just a minute. So, so far, you can see I've gone from the plus sign, I turned the corner, I went down, I turned the corner, and I went right up to where my battery will be sitting. Now, let's do the other side. And this little guy is still attached, and I'm gonna show you what to do with that in a minute. So I'm gonna start the same exact way. I'm gonna pull the backing off of the copper tape. It's tricky to get started but once you get it started, you're usually pretty good to go. Whoops, have a little tear. If you tear it a little bit, that's okay. Just be gentle and start where you can. Okay, 
And I'm gonna stick down my copper tape just next to the hole, not covering the hole, just next to the hole, just like that. I'm gonna do the same exact thing I did before. I'm gonna turn the corner. So to remember to turn the corner, you're gonna go away from yourself first, away from the direction you want to go. So I wanna go down, so I'm gonna turn up first, and then I'm gonna fold it down. Get a nice clean fold. And then when you'll notice that there's a break in the line right here. And we just wanna cut it off right there. We do not want to cover that area. This is gonna create the switch that will turn our card on and off. So I just did a little trim and I stopped it right there. It's okay if it goes over a little bit. And I'm gonna pick it back up right there. I'm gonna just pull it. And I'm going to stick it down as long as there's a break in between. It doesn't have to even really be a very big break. You'll notice that's kind of small, but as long as they don't connect, you're fine. Okay, I need to turn the corner to go toward my battery. So I'm gonna turn the opposite direction, just like that. And then I'm gonna turn back. Just fold it over. And this time, I'm not gonna leave the foil hanging off. This time I'm gonna go right on to the foil, or onto the, I said foil, onto the circle where the battery is gonna go. And I'll show you what that looks like, just like that. So on the minus side, I've kind of covered up the plus and minus, but you can see at the top, it has a minus and a plus, and it goes all the way around. And so the minus side goes onto the paper and the plus side is hanging off. Now let's go ahead and add our battery. So I'm gonna open my battery case and you'll notice if you take a look at your battery that it has a plus on the top with a little bit of writing on it and the bottom, which is the minus side, is just a little dot pattern. So I'm gonna put this with the plus side up just like that the minus side is down, touching that foil, the plus side is up, and then I'm gonna run this piece of copper tape right over to the top, right over the top of my battery, just like that, and then cut it off. Now you don't want this to fold over to the underside, so just make sure that it's only touching the top. You might have to trim it a little. Don't fold that copper over to the underside. So, You'll notice now that all my copper tape is done, all this is just extra, you'll notice that on the underside, we have the foil on the, on the minus or negative side, the copper foil goes under the battery, up, there's a little break, then it goes up to the hole where the light goes. Then we have the plus sign, it goes all the way over, down, over and on top of the battery. So that should be what your copper foil looks like at this point. Now, let's find those two pieces of tape that were on our plastic bag. We're gonna get one of them. Once you get the corner off, it actually comes off really easily. Just gotta get that corner started. There we go. Okay, well, I had it. There we go. All right, and I'm just gonna put this piece of tape right on top of my battery to hold it firmly in place because we don't want that scooting around. We want it to stay firmly in place. So now I've taped down my battery, just like that, and it's not going anywhere, okay? Now it's time to add our light. So let's go ahead and prepare our second piece of scotch tape. We're just gonna pull that up again once you get it started, it, it'll come right off. And I'm gonna cut this into two. Actually, I need two pieces here. I'm gonna just stick them to the edge of the table until I'm ready for them. But it's important that they're ready. Now let's take a look at our light. Now your LED light has two little prongs on it. One is longer than the other. The longer prong is the positive side. So remember that, take a look. 
Notice which one is longer, and we're gonna go ahead and fold the longer one over. I'm just starting with the plus one. I'm not gonna bend my negative one yet, because that way we don't get confused about which one is which, okay? So I've just bent my positive one. I'm gonna stick my light in the hole. So you'll notice if I look on this side, my light's sticking right through the antenna of my, of my robot. And I'm going to tape this down right onto my copper. You need to make sure that that little wire is touching the copper the whole way, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the negative side now. Go ahead and bend that down. And there we go. Just like that. Now, last but not least, we've completed our circuit. Last but not least, we need to add our little switch that's going to turn this off and on. So, I'm going to get my copper tape, the one inch piece, or if you had some left over, like this one had some left over, I could just use that. I might just use that so I don't have to open that one up. I'm gonna take this piece of copper tape and just tape it right on this line. And with any luck, this should activate our light. And it does, look at that. So now, if I close that circuit, if I press this to this little area where it's closed, it will light up my robot. That's so cool. I actually drew a little flower, my robot holding a flower, so I would always know where to press to turn my robot off and on. Okay? Now, last thing we're gonna do here is just go ahead and glue this thing together so that we're, it's not opening and closing all the time. So I'm just gonna use my glue stick and add some glue, just like that, and press it together. It might light up while I'm gluing and that's okay. You don't wanna glue, don't put any glue on your switch. So you don't wanna glue that on or it'll stay on and then your battery will run out. Now, it's all glued together and all I have to do is press the switch or press my little flower to light up my robot. It looks like he has an idea, a bright idea. And you can brighten someone's day with this card. You could write a little message on the back, maybe write press here so they know how to activate your card and enjoy your simple circuit light up card. Have a great day.